Ha, swim bait time. Swim bait time. Okay, folks. <laughs> Not much of a bass, but it's a swim bait fish. And I'm in my little trusty canoe, all tricked out canoe. Hey, YouTubers, Roland Martin here. Today I'm just going to show you my new canoe operation down here in the deep Everglades. I got it all tricked out with a trolling motor. I got a power pole. I got all sorts of stuff on this on this canoe, making it a really pretty neat deal. Swim bait time. I'm going to try different things. I, I get the, uh, of course, my trusty Cinco, and uh, I might even try a top water. We know they hit a swim bait. Make a nice long cast. Water's pretty clear. There one. Got a good one too. That's a good one. That's, oh yeah. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. That's what that's what we're talking about. Swim bait time. Swim bait time. Now we're talking. <laughs> yes there. Get pretty close to the boat. Now let me tell you a little bit about my swim bait operation. Okay, nice, a nice, a nice bass. We're in a lot of hydrilla right here, and I'm using a screw lock weight. This is so cool. This is a big seven aught hook. It's a great big gamagatsu hook, and I got a screw lock on there, and I'll just show you how I put it on. Pretty cool deal. Probably at the very bottom. Okay, here we go. I know a guy. I'm working with the Yamamoto, of course. And this is one of the Yamamoto hardtail grubs right here. It's a perfect complement for this tackle that I'm using. And uh, I've, 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 I've just fallen in love with it. It's a four and a half inch uh, hardtail grub by Yamamoto. And I just screw it in. And boy, you're talking about something that catches them. This thing catches them big time. Okay. Screw it in. And now, bury the hook in there. I got 50 pound braid, and also that's a little bit of a 3 8 or a 3, I'm sorry, a 3 16 of an ounce slip weight. Make a nice long cast. This is a big heavy rod, big flipping stick, really. And all out there where I'm throwing is I'm hitting grass right now. It's just all hydrilla underneath there. And some of it's four or five feet deep, it's not all just shallow. But they're just swimming it along on top of the on top of the hydrilla. Now you notice I don't have the rod straight at the lure. I have it kind of up a little bit so that I can set the, I can drop the rod like a worm a little bit and set the hook that way. Nice long cast. Well. Let me go forward just a little bit. My trolling motor, I can't make my trolling motor work right now because it's, the hydrilla is too thick. So let me just push it forward just a little bit and I will get to where I can run the trolling motor. Okay, now make a nice long cast with a Senko. I, I got a little. Uh, eighth of an ounce weight on there and again I'm using braid you never know and I'm using heavy braid you never know how big these fish are there's really some big fish here I mean I don't know if I'll catch one but I mean there's seven eight nine ten pound fish and you don't want to be fooling around with ten twelve pound line not with all this hydrilla they go bearing up in the hydrilla and you can't get them out It's down in the hydrilla and you don't know. You drag in so much hydrilla, you don't know what you got. You don't really know. Look at that, look at that, what I'm dragging. I don't know if I got a bass or not.
Yeah, I do. <laughs> it's a small one, but it sure hit that hardtail. But you know, here's just a that's that's just an example. A little pound and a half bass, but he's dragging 10 pounds of hydrilla behind him, and that's why you need the heavy line. Okay. Throw it in the same spot, just make a nice long cast again. Well, let me put the power pole up, put the power pole up, and we'll drift forward. There's strike. Worm strike. Worm fish. Worm fish. Yes, sir. The old plastic worm. Not very big. You gotta switch around. Switch around a little bit. I happen to have a bunch. I get these worms. Now I'm gonna try a different color. I'm gonna try the black with the uh, metal flake and just see what happens. See if that works good. And see what happens on that score. There's one. Right on the edge of that. Right on the edge of that thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now we're talking. Right on the edge of the grass. There's like a drop off there, so I'm looking with my polarized glasses. I can kind of see the deeper water, and uh, so there's a definite line, a definite line of hydrilla right there, and it's probably dropping off a little deeper right along in there. There's a strike. Another one. Yeah. They're in that they're on that edge. They're on that edge. They're on that edge. These edges are a big deal. Ed edges, edges, I don't care where you go, whether it's an edge of a boat dock or an edge of a weed bed or an edge of a sandbar, edges are a big deal. So we're just catching little fish right now. Catch a big one. We'll catch a big one pretty soon. We will. I have a feeling. Now I've torn this worm up. But I've given you this tip a lot. One of the tips. Now that the front part is torn up, I can come in the tail and actually use the worm backwards, and it works fine. They they like it backwards. I mean they they bite it backwards. It still casts good. It still performs good. And everything about it is still good, it's just backwards. A lot of thing, a little secret when I'm fishing this heavy hydrilla, a lot of times I'll throw it up on the hydrilla and swim it off to the deep water because I don't make the splash, I don't scare the fish. The fish could be right on that edge and if I land in the water, sometimes it might scare them. So by landing up on the hydrilla itself and dragging it in there, might be a better deal. There's a strike. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, nice one, nice big one. No, I knew there'd be a big one around. Oh yeah. Oh heavens. Guess what I got? I got another mudfish. Holy moly, a big old giant mudfish. That was not good. Big giant one. Holy moly. I don't know if I can get it or not. Have to get my pliers. Woo! There we go. That's the only way to do it. Just gotta twist that hook backwards. And boy, they they're nothing but a 
They're nothing but a bundle of, of teeth and they're nasty. But that's the problem. Down the Everglades, you have a lot of you have a lot of fish that you don't want to catch. A lot of animals are coming around you. The alligators are coming, try to eat your baits and try to eat your uh, fish that you have on. And the otters will come and ah, there's just every, all kinds of stuff. Okay. Oh yeah, a worm fish. Oh. Cinco time. Cinco time. Not much to them. Hey, but they're fun to catch. And you never know when you catch a big one. Kid kid come at the most inopportune time. And a lot of times with the way they won't run at you, you'll hook a big one and you'll think it's a small one until he turns because he's coming at you. That's sometimes the case. That's sometimes the case. There's one. How big is it? That's a pretty good sized fish. Pretty good size. Yeah. The old heart tail struck again. The old heart tail. That's the deal. Hey, listen, listen, I post every every Wednesday and every Friday, you know, and I have Friday update. And then on Sundays, I also do a post. Hey, you guys are, and girls are subscribing so well. Thanks, thanks a million for watching my show. And I'm trying to teach you a few things and showing you a few techniques. I enjoy doing it. So thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.